Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding limits using a table of values. So we have find the limit as x approaches 3 and our function is square root x plus 1 minus 2 all over x minus 3. So the idea we want to use for this problem is we're going to find the left side limit and the right side limit. So if we start off by coming in from the left side, to come in from the left side of 3 we need x values that are slightly less than 3. So if we start off with let's say 2.9 we could get closer to 3 by looking at 2.99 next. And then we could put a string of 3 nines. We'll have 2.999. And now to come in from the right side, we're going to choose x values that are slightly bigger than 3. So if we start off with, let's say, 3.1, the next value we could look at, if we get you know something slightly smaller, we'll have 3.01. And then we'll have 3.001. So then what we need to do now is we're going to find the y values that correspond to here. So if we go over to the calculator, we're going to type in our function. And remember, if you have a fraction, make sure you use parentheses, otherwise it'll ruin your day. You'll get something different. So we're going to put parentheses around the numerator and denominator. And here we have square root x plus 1. Hit the right arrow or close a parenthesis if you have an older calculator. Because if you write the minus 2 under the radical, once again, you'll get something different. And we're dividing by parentheses x minus 3. So what you could do next, if you go to the table of values, notice everything's counting by 1s. And there's an error at 3. That's where we're investigating. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to hit second window. And we scroll down. And we put this independent section, the independent variable, we put this on ask. And what that does is it allows us to type in values of x manually. So if we want to find out what y is when x is 2.9, we just type it in and press enter. And if we type in 2.99 and hit enter, it'll give us the next y value. And we complete this for the rest of the table. So we have 2.999, 3.001, and 3.1. So once you have these values here, I'm going to write them over here, and I'm going to round four places out. So for 2.9, if we round it to four decimal places, we'll have 0 0.2516. 2516. Remember, the 8 is going to round this 5 next to it up to a 6. If we look at 2.99, that's going to round to 2502. Oh, I'm sorry, we have 0 0.2502. That 6 is going to round the 1 up to a 2. And then for the next entry, our y value, if we round out four places, those trailing zeros are not going to matter. It's going to go to 0.25. And now if we look at the next entry, 3.001, this 8 is going to bump this up to the next 10. So ultimately, that value is also going to round to 0.25 here. And then for 3.01, we're going to round to 0.2498. And then the last entry, 3.1, will round up to 2485 after the decimal. So now that we have this table of values, we need to start paying attention here towards this section. So what we'll notice is as the limit as x approaches 3 from the left side, as we get closer to 3, coming in from the left side, our y values are shrinking down to 0.25. They're already close to 0.25, but they get closer as we move closer to 3. And the same thing is happening as we approach from the right. As we approach from the right side, see as we shrink down to 3, from 3.1 to 3.01 and so on, our y values are increasing towards 0.25. They're already very close to 0.25, but as x gets closer to 3, the y values get closer to 0.25. So what this tells us, since our left and right limits are equal, our limit as x approaches 3 of the function is equal to 0.25. So just one tip with these particular problems, be very careful. You have to make sure that when you make a table that you pick values to the left and the right of three. Because in some cases, your left limit and your right limits could be different. And when that happens, your limit does not exist. But in this case, our left and right limit wound up to be the same thing. So our limit is 0.25.